Welcome everybody, my name is Frank Catalano Jr. I'm very excited to be bringing you this introduction of a new and very exciting twist on billiards and poker. We're calling it simply pool poker. I know some of the questions that you might have right off the bat are, what is it? How is it played? First, we're going to start off by introducing the pieces that are going to be used to play this game. Second, we'll show you the rules on how to play. Okay guys, now we're back and we're going to show you, like I said before, what you need for the game, okay? First off, you're going to need to block off the pockets. You can simply do this by purchasing pocket blockers or you can make them yourself. You'll notice that there are six different balls here. I'm going to start bringing them out. If you play poker, you'll recognize that they're suited. Not only are they suited, they're going to have a combination of numbers and face cards. So for those of you that don't know poker, the object of the game is to get the best hand possible. So for example, with these balls, you can have a combination two of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, or be lucky enough to get the flush. Okay guys, so now we're here and we're ready to give you a demonstration of how the game is played. And to help me out, I got my partner, David, aka Music Child. Now obviously you don't have as many balls as you do when you play normal pool. So this to set up is fairly simple. We're going to have two in the front and three in the back. You're going to set them up along the same side as you would your normal pool balls. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your cue ball and also my pool have it set. Now guys, for this game, you're going to see once I break the balls, I will only have three attempts to obtain my hand. Ice hand wins, just like in poker. Once I've done my shots, it's going to be David's turn, and whoever gets the highest hand is going to be the winner. So we're going to play a little game for you and give you some examples. Make sure when you get that break in, that it's nice and hard, so that you can have every ball give you a different outcome. And here I see I have a king of hearts, 10 of clubs, nine of diamonds. This one is still any game and a jack of diamonds. Okay guys, so now here's the situation. I got a straight going, but my object is I got to nip this ball very slightly so that a can lay flat without touching any of the other ones because that's what I'm going for as a straight. So here's my first shot after the break. <laughs> Which I was not successful. So here we are again, quite a predicament. I need that eight. Second shot, let's see if it happens. There it is, straight shown on the table. So now, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm satisfied with the straight. I don't need my last shot. It's gonna go ahead and be my partner Dave's turn. Same thing, we're gonna set him up, two in front, three in the back. I wanna make sure, and I reiterate the fact, that on his break, he needs to have every ball scattered so that he can have a good possibility of getting a unique outcome and play from there. All right, guys, so here's David's break. As good break, he's gonna take time and observe what he has available. So we got a blue joker, a black king of hearts, 10 of diamonds, this is nothing, and a queen of spades. So now, David, what is your strategy? 
I'm gonna go for the green. What are you trying to get? Uh, looks like maybe a straight. Maybe a straight, okay. So you're looking at a jack or an ace. Yeah, a joker, right? Yeah, it's a joker right there. This is his first shot, first of three. He's got his ace. So now David has a straight as well. So that was full poker brought to you by myself and David, AKA Music Child. As you can see, unfortunately, I lost. David won, he has a higher straight with the ace. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really, really hope you go out there, find this game, give it a try and give us some likes, man. Give us some support, we really appreciate it. Thanks for your time.